नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श सु वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू ट्वेल्थ पार्ट ऑफ फिफ्टीन चैप्टर स्टैंडर्ड सेवन साइंस इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी डीड एन एक्टिविटी थ्रू विच वी कम टू नो दैट विद द हेल्प ऑफ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस वी गेट generally we get real images and they have to be inverted then after and with the help of uh, concave mirrors always we get sorry with the help of concave lenses with the help of or with concave lenses we get the image which are always virtual and erect that is what we did in the last part now in this part we will learn about the sunlight white or color do you know the sunlight is white or color let's discuss have you ever seen rainbow in the sky you might have noticed that it appears usually after the rain when the sun is low in the sky when do you used to see Uh, first of all have you ever seen the rainbow generally when see when it appears usually after the rain and when the sun is low not on top but when the sun is low generally it can be happen in the evening it may be happen in the morning also but it is very rare in the evening usually we can see that rainbow after the rain especially and when the sun is low in the sky the rainbow is seen as a large arc large arc in the sky with many colors as a large arc with many colors how many colors are present in a rainbow do you know there are how many colors present in a rainbow when observed carefully there are seven colors there are seven colors in a rainbow through it may not be easy to distinguish all of them so through looking into the rainbow as i said we cannot distinguish all the colors all the seven colors and the colors are see red starting from uh, there then starting from the outside we can say then it is red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet you must be aware like this b i b g y o r isn't it so it is from starting from here we can say or inside we can say violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red these are the seven colors we can observe we can see in the rainbow okay does this mean that the white light consists of seven colors what pahle asks then does this mean that the white light consists of seven colors yeah in fact it is there the white light consists of seven colors okay let's understand more about so that can we can understand now you might have seen that when you blow soap bubbles you must have seen that soap bubbles in fact you you must have did that activity isn't it blowing the soap bubbles okay Ma, you might have seen that when you blow soap bubbles, they appear colorful. That uh, appears colorful, and that to be uh, uh, during the sunlight. Or let it be. We are in the shade, but in the sunlight, near the sunlight, we can say we are in the shade. But at that time, you can see many colors on the bubbles. So that is why they appear colorful. similarly when light is reflected from the surface of a compact disc you know the compact disc it is in the figure also figure 15.29 is a compact disc 
so when uh, the light is reflected from the surface of a compact disc cd you see many colors or we can see many colors on the basis of these experiences could we say that the sunlight is a mixture of different colors uh, let us investigate so first of all let us investigate let us discuss about and then after we will get the conclusion isn't it so there is an activity 15.11 in which take a glass prism you should have a glass prism allow a narrow brim beam of sunlight through a small hole in the window or a dark room to fall on one face of the prism so the actually uh, narrow beam of sunlight should fall on the prism uh, let the light coming out of the other face of the prism fall on a white sheet of a paper or a white board uh, what do you observe when say when a uh, thin or narrow beam of sunlight falls on one face of the prism now it will coming it will come out from the other face of the uh, that uh, prism and let it fall on a white sheet or uh, it may it can be fall on the wall but it should be white so that can we can see those colors that is why nothing else so let it uh, falls on the white paper or on the white wall what do we observe do you see color similar to those in the rainbow this shows that sunlight consists of seven colors sunlight consists of seven colors the sunlight is said to be white light see generally the sunlight if we see the sunlight then we say that it is a white color but actually the sunlight consists of seven colors but all the colors together the sunlight is white isn't it uh, this mean uh, this means that the white light consists of seven colors try to identify these colors and uh, write their names in your notebook so do try for this activity through the prism if you cannot then go for the cd in the cd of the reflection of the light you will find seven colors many colors are there try to try to identify those colors and write those colors in your notebook can we mix this color to get white light okay see actually first of all what did we do we separate white light and we can see the seven colors okay now those separated seven colors if we mix them then is it possible to we get that to get the white color white if we those separated seven color mix them if we mix those separated seven colors then is it possible to get white color for that there is an activity 15.2 15.12 in which what you have to do uh, you can see the figure 15.31 uh, what to do take a circular cardboard cardboard disc of about 10 cm diameter so we have to take a, a circular cardboard sheet of diameter 10 cm around 10 cm divide this disc into 7 segments suppose this is a disc of 7 cm 10 cm diameter then what to do divide the disc into 7 1 2 3 4 5, 6 and 7 in 7 segments like this ok then into 7 segments paint the 7 rainbow colors on these segments so suppose we start from red 
suppose this is a red then we have to go uh, one by one suppose red then after uh, orange yellow orange yellow and the last will be the violet okay so like that red orange yellow you have to write those colors uh, let me write green blue green green blue and indigo like this we have to color these segments okay we can paste the color paper also huh? see in this one uh, seven segments paint the seven rainbow colors on this segments to show uh, like uh, figure 30, 30 15.31 you can also paste colored uh, papers on these segments make a small hole at the uh, center of the disc in the center of the disc we have to put we have to make a small hole then fix the okay in the center of the disc fix the disc closely on the tip of a refill of a ball pen now we have to fix this disc on the tip of a ball pen ensure that the disc rotates freely now we have to rotate this disc and that is why we should ensure that it rotates very freely rotate the disc in the daylight now what we have to do we have to rotate the disc and uh, uh, we should rotate it as fast as possible that is important so rotate, rotate the disc in the daylight when the disc is rotated fast the colors get mixed together and the disc appears to be whitish and the disc appears to be whitish such a disc is uh, popularly known as Newton's disc such this type of disc is popularly known as Newton's disc okay so when we rotate the disc fast uh, I think see it is it is not possible that exactly white color we get but we can get whitish color why because see there is a big difference remember or understand that see actually we separated the light we separated the light and we get seven colors isn't it and from that seven colors if we mix those light seven colors then we will get white color okay but here we are doing this activity with physical colors isn't it we are doing this activity with physical colors and we are uh, uh, coloring these segments or we are doing with the paper but those are physical colors and if these are physical colors then uh, we cannot get exactly white color but it will be whitish color i hope you must have understood the idea okay now the last thing Paheli has a brilliant idea she has prepared a small top with a small circular disc with seven rainbow colors painted on it when the top rotates like this rotates it appears nearly white why because top is rotating very fast so it is it or the top of the uh, uh, top of that top uh, will appear or look like a whitish okay now with this we are ending this part we come to know many things from starting from light travels in the straight line or uh, light travels along the straight line from that we have started then after we did some activities uh, with uh, plane mirror isn't it we get virtual image in the plane mirror then after we discussed about the spherical mirrors hai na? and then after we discussed about the lens and the type of image we get whether it is virtual whether it is real like that isn't it and we did all these activities and now we are ending this part and we'll meet you in the next chapter thank you thank you for joining us take care of yourselves and we'll meet you in the next session thank you